match the sequence with the given nth term with its graph. So let's go ahead and work through this. So we have a sub n is equal to negative 1 to the nth power all divided by n. So all we have to do is plug in numbers and see if we can find the right graph. So a sub 1, that's going to be negative 1 to the first power over 1. So negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. Let's do another one. a sub 2, replacing all of the n's with 2's, we get negative 1 squared over 2. So negative 1 squared is 1, because negative 1 to an even power is always 1. So we get 1 half. Let's do one more. a sub 3. This will be negative 1 to the third power over 3. And negative 1 to an odd power is always negative 1. And then here we have a 3. So the first term is negative 1, then it's 1 half, then it's negative 1 third. So if you were to graph it without looking at the multiple choice answers, it would look something like this. I'm just going to put some, some yellow dots here. So negative 1 maybe is here, then 1 half, and then negative 1 third. So it just does something like that. That's the idea. So it looks like it's going to be this one here. This is the answer here, because the other ones don't even seem to come close. And you can actually check. Uh, when you plug in 1, you do get negative 1 here. And when you plug in 2, that's 0.5. That's about 1 half. Uh, plug in 3, negative 1 third. So yeah, it does seem to, to match correctly. So this here would be the correct graph of the sequence. I hope this video has been helpful.